Diffusion describes how particles intermingle and move from areas of high concentration to low concentration, like the particles spreading out on the screen. In 1905, Einstein wrote a series of papers on Brownian motion. He imagined a microscopic particle surrounded by much smaller liquid particles. The liquid particles hit the larger particles at random times and from all directions. Each collision causes a particle to move a small amount in that direction. For simplicity, consider a random walk on a one-dimensional lattice of spacing h. Define c of x and t to be the expected number of particles. At each time step, assume that a particle will move right and left with equal probability. That is, it is equally probable for it to get hit by a liquid particle from the left than it is for it to get hit from the right. This MATLAB simulation illustrates a random walk where the x-axis is a position and the y-axis is a time. We start with 10 particles at zero and note that even though on average the particles stay centered around zero, the particles will spread out as time progresses. We would like to derive an equation that describes a change in time of c of x and t, the expected number of particles. To do that, we posit that the expected number of particles at time t plus tau will depend on an expected number of particles at time t in the two adjacent squares x minus h and x plus h. This is what is described in the equation on the screen, since we expect half of the particles at position x at time t plus tau to have come from x plus h and half to have come from x minus h. If we tailor expand, rearrange, and let h and tau go to zero, we get the heat equation, or diffusion equation, dc dt equals d times cxx, where d is a constant given by h squared over 2 times tau. This shows that the diffusion equation can be derived from Brownian motion.